AT and Technology. Hi, this is Chip with ATN, and this is a video on how to use your Excite. Let's set the date and time. Press the enter button twice to pull up the user interface and move the cursor over to the menu icon. Press enter. Move the cursor down to the setup menu and press enter. Move the cursor down again to the date and time settings menu and press enter. And then move to the date menu and press enter. Now it's February. Here we're going to press the right arrow to move to the day. We're going to use the up arrow to select the day. We're going to press the right arrow again and select the year. Once we've entered the date, we can press enter and it'll bring us back into the menu previous. We we'll use the down arrow to go to the time, press enter. We'll use the up arrow to select the hour, press the right arrow to select the minutes, and then we'll use the down arrow to set the correct minute. Once we're done with that, we press enter, and we've set our date and time. To back out of the menus, press the left arrow to return to the previous menu all the way back to your home screen. Let's discuss the top and bottom icons. On the top, you've got your compass with zero degrees being north, 90 degrees being east, 180 degrees being south, and 270 degrees being west. If you press the enter button one time, you'll bring up the bottom row of icons showing your velocity, your ground speed, your time, and your magnification. The Excite also has a smooth zoom feature. To use the zoom, use the up or down arrows. By pressing the up arrow to zoom in and holding, you'll see an icon in the top right indicating your field of view. And since this is a 3x, and we just magnified it by four times, there's your 12 times magnification, and use the down arrow to zoom out at 1x, which is our base magnification of 3 now. It's that simple. Let's discuss recording videos and taking pictures. This is probably one of the simplest functions of the X site. To take a picture from the home menu, all you do is press the left arrow button. You'll see the screen flash and hear a click and you've taken a picture that's been saved to your micro SD card. To record video, use the right button. Press it once to start recording. You'll see a counter in the top left corner of the screen with a red dot. Press the right button again to stop recording. It's that simple. Let's discuss reticle patterns and reticle color. These are all customizable in your menus. So again, let's press the enter button twice to bring up your user interface. Press the right arrow to select your menu icon and press enter. Move to display menu, press enter, and move to the reticle menu and press enter. Finally, move to your reticle type and press enter, which will bring up the menu and your selection of reticle patterns and reticle colors. Simply select the reticle pattern or color that you want, press enter, use the left arrow to back out of the menus, and you've got your new reticle color and pattern. Press the enter button twice to bring up your user interface. Move the cursor to the menu icon and press enter. To get to the zero setup menu, select display, then select reticle, 
then select zero setup. This will bring you to your screen with coordinates in the top right corner, a green dot, which is your original point of aim, and the reticle. Now I've simulated a bullet hole to the bottom and the right of the bullseye. So what you'd want to do is use those directional keys and move that reticle down to the bullet hole. while keeping that green dot on the original point of aim, which is generally the bullseye. Now once you've moved the reticle to that bullet hole, save the position by pressing enter, and it'll bring you to your previous screen. And if you use that left arrow to back out of the menus, you'll see your reticle has moved to the bullet hole and your new zero position is saved. And that is how you use the Excite Single Shot Zero feature. If your new zero is not exactly where you want it, for whatever reason, repeat the exact same steps you did by pressing Enter twice and selecting the menu icon. Select the display menu move down to the reticle menu and move down to the zero setup menu. This time you'll see a red dot which is always the center of the screen, your green dot which is your point of aim and the reticle. So repeat the exact same steps that you did the first time around by moving that reticle to that bullet hole while keeping the green dot on your original point of aim. Now once you've done that, you press enter and your zero is saved. Press the left arrow to back out of the menu. One of the coolest features about the x is that it has night vision capability. Being that it's a day and night scope, you can use it 24-7. To access the night mode, simply press the enter button twice to bring up your user interface and select the sun and moon icon to activate night mode. Press enter, you'll hear a click and you're in night mode. To change night mode colors, Press the enter button twice again to bring up your user interface. Select your menu icon. Move to display. Select day night mode. And select night mode color. Now you have your option of either green and black or white and black. Simply select the night mode color by using the up or down arrow keys and press enter. Remember, when using night vision mode, you're going to want to use that infrared illuminator. Let's discuss the Wi-Fi feature of the x -Side. The x -Side can connect to any tablet or phone with our free ATN Obsidian app available in the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. To turn on the Wi-Fi in the x -Side, press the enter button twice to bring up that user interface select the menu icon and press enter. Move down to the Wi-Fi and GPS menu, press enter. Move down to the Wi-Fi menu and press enter. Select Wi-Fi, press enter, and press either up or down to turn it on and press enter. Now you'll notice that the SSID is ATN underscore obsidian, which you'll see in your phone or tablet in the available Wi-Fi signals. The password is also below which is 1 through 0 and that's what you input as a password on your phone or tablet. Backing out of the menus 
is the same by pressing the left arrow. Now we know Wi-Fi is on by looking at the icon in the top right corner of our screen. Once you've activated the Wi-Fi feature on your X site, go to your portable device and find that Wi-Fi network called ATN underscore Obsidian. Connect to it by entering the password, which is located in your Excite Wi-Fi menu. In this case, the default is one through zero and connect. Once you connect to the app, you can view the preview of your scope in real time or control some of the basic functions of your scope, including reticle pattern, color, and style. To update your firmware, visit www.atncorp.com forward slash firmware forward slash Excite. Once you've downloaded the firmware onto your SD card, simply insert your SD card into the Excite by removing the cover, covering the ports, and remember to insert the micro SD card with the teeth facing downwards. Seat it into the slot using a ballpoint pen, or you can even use your micro SD adapter. Once you install your micro SD card, press the power button to turn on your Excite and follow the on screen instructions. It is very important to remember not to interrupt the firmware update process as this will cause damage to your unit.